Enough of the predictions, back to the news this week. Gigafactory 3 has loads of news for us, Cybertruck is already winning awards, Sentry Mode will add a welcome new feature, and we go FUD busting for the first time in 2020. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 565 for January 10th, 2020. This show is sponsored by my supporter, Richard. If you're in the market for a new Tesla, please consider using his referral code. Ask your salesperson to use code Richard174 or go direct to the web link ts.la slash Richard174 and pick up a 1,000 mile supercharging credit for your new vehicle. Item number one out of the shoot today is all about Gigafactory 3. Gigafactory made a ton of news over the last couple weeks, and we'll start first with a new source for the program, Tasmanian. Tasmanian gleaned from Tesla's official Weibo account, and for those unfamiliar, Weibo is basically the Twitter of China, that Gigafactory 3 has eclipsed 3,000 cars produced per week. From their site, the translated post reads, quote, We will continue to focus on expanding production capacity in the United States and the newly built Shanghai Superfactory. Although the Shanghai Superfactory started construction 12 months ago, we have produced 1,000 vehicles and started delivery. At the same time, it has reached a production rate of more than 3,000 units per week, excluding local battery packs that began production at the end of December, end quote. Now that's impressive. The plant is barely operational, and in contrast to Fremont that took quite some time to reach the 3,000 car per week milestone, Gigafactory 3 has reached the goal at lightning speed. News item number two is that Elon made a personal visit to the factory for the ceremony of handing over the first Model 3s delivered to non-employees from the factory. He was in rare form as he danced on stage at one point. Elon definitely knows his company is crushing it right now, and it shows. During the event, he talked about creating a design center in China for the purpose of creating a new Tesla vehicle, which would be globally distributed. Lastly, this one with an assist from Twitter user at KelvinYang7, as if all this wasn't enough, it was announced that the Model Y manufacturing project would begin. Kelvin appeared to find a picture of a backdrop citing the Model Y project opening ceremony. What an incredible couple of weeks for Gigafactory 3. It only took a year to build a factory and get 3,000 Model 3s per week churning out of it. I look forward to seeing how long it takes to do the same for Model Y. On to number two for this episode, this one courtesy of Teslarati. Cybertruck definitely took the world by storm back in November. Whether you liked it or not, Everyone had a strong opinion on Tesla's latest vehicle design. It seems we can count Automobile Magazine in the category of the truck's fans, as the publication awarded Cybertruck its award for Concept Car of the Year. In awarding Cybertruck, the outlet said, quote, Some critiques we read in the first few hours after its initial reveal suggested it to be a manifestation of unimaginative brutality, crude, ugly, and totally impractical. It is certainly different from traditional pickups, which apart from size, have not really changed in concept in 100 years. Is it better than the tens of millions of pickups made during the past century? That remains to be seen, but as a concept vehicle, it's both exciting and profoundly interesting. End quote. Exciting and interesting is definitely accurate, and folks, I have to admit, I've come around on it too. As a few folks have noted, and I definitely find to be true now as well, there's a cycle to the Cybertruck, much like the phases of grief. I'm now in acceptance phase, and if those tires aren't really 500 apiece, as I saw in one report, it may possibly be my next Tesla. Number three today comes courtesy of Trev over at Tesla Owners Online, getting a response from Elon. On their recent podcast, they were talking about improvements to sentry mode, and Trev took his shot and scored with this tweet. Quote, Hey, at Elon Musk, as discussed on our podcast, we all think it would be awesome to have the interior-facing camera and mic be activated as part of sentry mode during a break-in. Thanks, end quote. Elon gave one of his famous one-word replies, just saying yes to the request. This is great news as it amplifies the evidence available to owners in the event of a full break-in and, again, comes standard on the vehicle. When we can expect it is anyone's guess, but glad to know it's coming. Our fourth and final story for today comes a courtesy of Electrek and is our first installment of FUD Busters for 2020. Recently in Norway, an electric car was reported to be on fire at its Stavanger airport, which quickly spread and took a significant amount of time to bring under control, eight full hours. Tesla's detractors had a field day with this one with all the usual feigned concern. Except, 
After obtaining some video from the parking garage where the incident occurred, it turns out that the police have determined that the start of the fire wasn't an EV at all, rather a dirty old diesel. A member of the police department told Norwegian media outlet TU, quote, We have also collected some videos, and we will continue this work as well. The conditions surrounding the car fire are fairly clear, but now we have to find out why the fire started, end quote. Fortunately, nobody was hurt in the fire, though there is danger that the parking structure may collapse, adding an enormous cost to the blaze started by the car that, shocker, runs on explosions. So now you know the facts on this one, so go bust that FUD wherever you might find it. That'll do it for today's show. Thanks to all my patrons supporting the show at patreon.com slash Tidbits. And as always, a special shout out to all the super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They're Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvan Og, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T-Sport Line, Travis and Cheyenne Rush, Chris Hobus, Craig Murphy, Vicky Kirk, Ricky Johnston, Nathan Garza, Paul Gona, Ed Patterman, and Sunil Joseph. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I did get one brave person submitting their bold prediction for 2020. I'd like to see some more of you out there, so get those things sent in. So until next time, keep it charged and hit the road. <laughs>